In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Le Chatelier's principle to predict the results of changing concentration. In this problem, you'll be given a balanced chemical equation and you'll be told that the system is in equilibrium. And then it's gonna give you two different changes that will be made to the system in equilibrium. Alex is calling them perturbations. These are just changes that are being made. And you're gonna predict whether those changes are going to cause the system to shift to the right or to the left, or maybe no shift at all. Um, I think you should do this part first. And then once you make that prediction about the shift in equilibrium, then you're going to predict the changes, um, in this case, it's asking us about the change to pressure uh, for some a uh, couple of the substances that are in the system. So let's begin by looking at this first perturbation. It is telling us that we are adding some CS2. So that's this guy right here and it is being added. So that means that the concentration is being increased. Anytime you increase the concentration of any substance in a chemical reaction, the position of equilibrium is going to shift away from that substance. So if you increase something that's on the product side, it's gonna to shift to the left. If you increase something that's on the reactant side, it's gonna shift to the right. So since we're increasing something that's on the product side, the position of equilibrium is going to shift to the left. And then if the position of equilibrium shifts to the left, what does that do to the amount of CH4 and what does that do to the amount of H2S? If the position of equilibrium is shifting to the left, that is going to increase the amount of everything that's on the left-hand side. And it's also going to decrease the amount of everything that's on the right-hand side. We're being asked about CH4 and H2S. They're both on the left-hand side, so these will both be increasing. Your options here are going to be something along the lines of increasing, decreasing, or not changing at all. Let's take a look at the next one. The next perturbation is that we are removing some of the H2S. So the H2S is right here, and we are removing it. Little down arrow, that just means that it's going away. If you take away or if you remove anything from the left-hand side, the position of equilibrium will shift to the left to try to put back what you removed. If you take away something from the right-hand side, the position of equilibrium will shift to the right to try to put back whatever you removed. So since we're taking away something from the left-hand side, the position of equilibrium is going to shift to the left, just like in the last problem. And what does that do to the, it's asking us about the pressure of the CH4, and it's asking us about the pressure of the C2S. So if the position of equilibrium is shifting to the left, it's gonna increase everything on the left-hand side, and it's gonna decrease everything on the right-hand side. So the CH4 is going to increase, and the CS2 is going to decrease.